Okay, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm making another video. I noticed some water in our street. Now, I've told y'all before, sweetie, you almost hit my windshield, um, that uh, I'm in a low spot in the park. So if there's ever a water leak, then it comes straight to my house. Well, that's what's happening. And when I was going over to the dumpster, I see these two worker gentlemen uh, sitting <clears throat> on some steps and they're draining the swimming pool with a water hose out into the street. So it's already reached my house. Um, maybe y'all can see that water right there. So it just makes a straight line right for my yard. Now, thank goodness I don't have my bougainvillea or any other plants in my front yard that are not in pots because that chlorinated water, I'm pretty sure, would not be good for my plants. Now, they have started uh, with the electrical, and they're taking our 30-amp service up to 100 amps. And the reason I know that is because I looked it up online and saw the permits. Do y'all know how much it costs to get a permit to do this electrical work? I was shocked. Almost $15,000 for a permit from the city. Holy cow. And then the electrical work that's being done is almost, let me see, I want to get that right, a quarter of a million dollars, 250, no, it was more than that. Anyway, I'm not surprised at the cost of getting all this electrical done, but the cost of the permit is what blew me away. It's a good thing, though, because they've moved in several large homes. And um, we still don't know if they're going to be able to keep those big houses here, these big trailers, because our lots are not that big. I mean, a few people have large lots, but most of them are like mine. We're fairly close together. And... Y'all, I am so thankful um, that uh, in my cul-de-sac, there are no vacant lots. And I hope that there will not be. Um, so that they pull out an old trailer and put in another of these big monsters that would be bearing down on top of us. But anyway, you you, it's impossible to find out from the city what's going on with that aspect of our park. Um, what else is going on around here? It's good, though. It's improvements to our park. And uh, <clears throat> can it be inconvenient? Yeah. Can it be dusty and dirty? Yeah. Can it be noisy? Yeah. Now, because of this uh, electrical work that's being done, there's a lot of jackhammering uh, and tearing up of the streets that's being done. So, my friend Jerry came yesterday. Bless his heart. Um, he came yesterday and he hooked up both of my little room air conditioners for me. 
And the living room one was the most important because it's not nearly too hot that you can't sleep. Um, I just put a fan in my window. It brings that cool air in at night and I'm fine. But when they come to our cul-de-sac and they start doing all that jackhammering, then all of my windows, uh, especially in the front, and the sides are going to have to be shut up to keep all that dirt from coming in the house. So, um, he was so sweet to do that. And y'all remember when I was trying to hook one of those things up, the older one, that the, the tube kept falling out and blah, blah. <sighs> it's so maddening. Jerry hooked those things up, both of them, in about 15 minutes. Crazy. So, I'm very grateful to have Jerry. Uh, and he's, you know, typical man. Sorry, you guys. Typical man. Uh, doesn't want you to do anything for him. Uh, you know... I, I was laughing when he was leaving, and I said, well, Jerry, uh, drop your laundry off and come back the next day, and I'll have it nice. Would he do that? No. Would I be happy to do that for him? Yes. But that's not going to happen. But anyway, you guys, I don't know why my little birds are not going up to the, the bird food is uh, fresh. Um, it needs to be changed out there. He went down to the one that's still red and he's drinking. Well, so much for that business of uh, it doesn't need to have some red color in it. I'm sitting here watching it for myself and he goes over to the little one that still has the red food in it, but he doesn't seem to be bothering or eating out of the fresh, non-colored food. I'm going to see if there's something red that I could add to their food that would be totally non-harmful. Maybe I should paint the outside of that glass red. What do y'all think about that? I never thought about that. You know the flowers that are on the outside that guide them into the little hole so they can eat? Those flowers are red. Now, on my dollar store bird feeder that has the red food in it, those flowers are yellow. So, you know, they are attracted to color, but um, I want them to be able to use the big bird feeder. So, anyway, y'all, um, I'm very thankful to Gary. I mean, Jerry. Gary, Jerry, Terry. I you know, it's hard for me to get... Anyway, I'm talking about Jerry. So, um, I was very grateful to him. And in the event that it does get hot enough this summer, they're already there. They're already in place. They're very ugly. They have big hoses. I'll show you all that later. But um, who's going to care about that if you're sweating in 90 degree weather? And I know you guys, many of you, are going through a terrible heat wave. And I know that you're being careful about that. So, love you guys. Do something fun today. And um, I'll talk to you later. Bye now.